Welcome to Founts Boxing Theory. In this video, we're going to be breaking down Tim Zhu versus Keith Thurman in a very surprising fight. Uh, go ahead and give this video a like. Feel free to comment and uh, subscribe to the channel for the most technical breakdowns of every fight, pre-fight and post-fight. Uh, check them out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it. And here we got Keith Thurman's defense, okay? Now, for the most part, Keith Thurman's defense sucks, okay? Hands down, he likes to be very athletic. He's very fast. You know, people call him twitchy, you know? But he's very fast. He's very athletic. <clears throat> and he's going to have his hands down a lot of the time. Now, getting into position, setting a great trap here, and it's very important that you understand that this is part of his defense. He finally gets to a position where his opponent thinks he's going to be able to make an attack happen on him, and he explodes into this shot here. Um, very risky. Because if your hands are down, it's very easy to faint and put you out of position. Um, now, again, doesn't always catch punches or block punches very well, number one. Because most of the time, his hands are just dead in his chest, right? They're kind of near his, near his chin, near his chest. Not really in a position to catch a block. Kind of just in the way a little bit. But he doesn't really react to punches very well. And as we see here, the one comes and his opponent pendulums and smashes him with a two here. And as we're going to take a look at Tim Zhu's offense, we're going to see how that kind of lines up as one of Tim Zhu's best weapons. It's just a, a one-two, okay? Now, here a jab comes out at him. He's going to parry it. Decent jab, right? <clears throat> he parries it. Decent. And he likes to counter with his own jab. Now, look at his structure here. Look at his position. He's in a terrible position here to defend against the right hand. And again, Tim Zhu is very, very, very fast with his one-two, very, very quick with his, his right hand. And Keith Thurman does like to fight off of his opponent's jab with this kind of structure. Jab comes out, right? A very vulnerable to a one-two real quick. If the shot comes out fast enough, again, because Keith Thurman, on average, doesn't really catch punches or block punches or look to interact really well, um, one-two is going to be very, very effective. Uh, Keith Thurman's going to have to be very very mindful of the whole fight now as the jab comes keith thurman's countering that jab from him and getting his head just a little bit off the line and landing a jab okay um this is important because this is one of those ways that keith thurman can actually slow the fight down okay keith thurman keeps his hands down he doesn't really guard the line very well sometimes he can catch punches when he's looking to fight off of his opponent's jab he's pretty good at it but for the most part, punches just kind of explode onto his line. And it's a wonder how he doesn't get knocked out. Well, trying to cover distance against him can be very difficult because he's very fast and very athletic, has good timing, um, and he can move his head a little bit when he jabs. This is very, very, very important. <clears throat> now, parrying the shot here, okay? And as he parries the shot, it's very important he was circling in a very particular way, and as he parries this shot, we can see that he's not really in a position to really defend the right hand. Okay, and Again, this is really important because Keith Thurman keeps his hands down. He's going to have to be moving a lot, be circling a lot um, to keep Tim Zhu off of him. Tim Zhu is a pressure fighter, and we're going again, we're going to get to take a look at that. Um, but after a shot comes at him, not always finding himself in the best position to defend a right hand. Again, very exposed here. He's usually fighting people who are not as fast or strong or as athletic as he is. Keith Thurman has uh, been described as uh, by you know Teddy Atlas, you know who, while I don't really respect his boxing knowledge, his understanding of people, right? Like, oh, this guy's a great athlete. This guy's this. You know, he's been around Mike Tyson. He compares Keith Thurman to Roy Jones, okay? And I think it's a pretty apt comparison. And I think it's going to be very fitting for the overall trajectory of how this fight goes. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But Keith Thurman, when he catches these jabs, he will be really exposed fighting off of that jab with this type of a technique because Tim Zhu is so fast with the right hand. Now, I don't want to just keep saying that for no reason. Kostya Zhu, his father, was an excellent right-hand puncher. And he would just basically sit, try to pin you down, and then just smash you with the right hand. And Tim Zhu, while not as good as his father, he's also not as archaic, right, in that regard. <clears throat> Kasha Zhu is a very good fighter. I'm not saying anything bad about him, but he's he's trying to box. He's going to try to have smart pressure or, you know, not that Kasha Zhu didn't. But 
anyway, I don't think that that the way that Keith Thurman's defense is, it's going to line up very well for him against the right hand. However, I don't know how many right hands um, Tim Zhu is going to wind up throwing. Okay, now again, jab, jab, coming forward, chasing defense, right? <clears throat> now, here's a, a jab defense. Uh, his opponent's going to be throwing a stepping jab. He pulls under, gets down, and he's going to come up with a right hand to the body here. And he's going to go left hand to the body and then right hand over the top. Uh, and this is off the back of his opponent's jab, his opponent's stepping jab. Okay, so uh, when his opponent's stepping jab, he can stepping jab and move his head off the line. When his opponent th throws a stepping jab, he can slip and throw a combination of power punches. All very, very dangerous for the Tim Zhu who doesn't really move his head all that much. Okay, and we're going to talk about that when we talk about Tim Zhu's offense because we want to make sure that we see very clearly how the fight is going to kind of play out. So <clears throat> now again, Tim Zhu getting to the front foot. We can watch him about to pendulum here. Touches the ground just a second, and he's going to move into a stepping jab here. Okay, this is Tim Zhu's most common move or opener, right, as he likes to fight uh, on the right side of the line. Um, most people fight on the front foot, but he's fighting on the right side of the line. Um, he doesn't like to be on the left side of the line unless he's, he's already punched or thrown a punch, but, you know, stepping jab, not great defense leaving the line here. Now, <clears throat> The fact that he steps with his jab here, right, and again, he doesn't always need to. Look at how exposed he is. He's kind of stuck over the front foot. He does have good timing. He is fast. It's not easy to fight Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu is very quick and very sharp. Um, but the fact that he does step with these punches, as we see him pendulum walking, bringing that foot close, getting his momentum going so that he can go more easily move into this move snappy and quick, stepping jab, kind of getting countered. Right now, I don't want to say getting countered. He didn't get hit. That's not always the most important part because, you know, while I do respect Mendoza and I do think that Mendoza does a few things better than Keith Thurman, um, he has a bit a bit better of an active guard, more control of the line with his hands for sure. Um, uh, Keith Thurman is a better puncher on average than Brian Mendoza is. Um, has better control of his hands, I think, and is more sharp. <clears throat> now, Mendoza is very strong, and there are a lot of very interesting similarities. But the most important thing is that uh, he doesn't defend his jab very well after he throws it. And he, it's also a very dangerous jab for him to throw. Now, uh, very easy to control Tim Zhu, and we're going to see that kind of stuff be, be uh, pretty apparent as we go through the film study as well. But uh, stepping jab, getting under it, and now a shot here like this. Again, the end of that. Keith Thurman defense video, pull countering one of the jabs and and or slip countering rather and coming to the body um, with the shot again able to fight off of his opponent's jab in multiple ways and uh, Brian Mendoza uh, also able to fight off of Tim Zhu's jab. Now Tim Zhu stepping jab, he's gonna step on the line stepping jab lets the guy body up with him right not good for Tim Zhu, but he also has a very 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 quick one too that he's gonna throw off that stepping jab. Ah, little left hook here. Now, this is going to also be a very big problem for Keith Thurman because, again, Keith Thurman doesn't really keep his hands up. When you throw a punch at, at Keith Thurman, he's going to pull away. He's going to duck. He's going to do his thing, but he's going to try to mostly trust that he's going to guess that you're doing your thing correctly, right? Or uh, So a lot of times if he pulls straight back away from a jab or tries to catch a jab, um, as we can see that, Tim Zhu likes to throw the stepping jab. You're going to have to be quick and athletic to interact with it. <clears throat> it's going to force a lot of those kinds of – those types of interactions. Um, and because of the fact that uh, Keith Thurman doesn't really block left hooks anyway, the likelihood that he winds up getting hit by stuff like this is very high. I think that um, he's going to be looking to interact with the jab and I think sometimes it's going to expose him to this kind of lead hook. And I think that actually the left hook – may wind up being the most important uh, move of the fight for for Tim Zhu. Um, and we'll see as we as we continue going with the film study. But penduluming here, getting onto the line, stepping jab again. Now, this is a very, very um, obvious timing, and I want to point out that 
um, these guys have different types of pendulum steps. And Keith Thurman has a, a traditional pendulum step, a big long one where he can jab, make a big positional change with the pendulum step, come down with a big, huge right hand. Um, we're going to take a look at that, but Tim Zhu likes his pendulum step very short with the stepping jab and moving directly into a two. Boom, really quickly, uh, rather than the one that allows him to cover a lot of distance. He prefers a really quick, short one, similar to the one that Virgil Ortiz has. Virgil Ortiz has one of those. Um, um, again, very quick with the one, two, but notice getting hit here by someone uh, who can kind of slip a punch, right? Can throw with a little bit of head movement. Keith Thurman throws with a lot of head movement. Now, again, one, two, very, very quick with that shot. And I want to point out, this is while Brian Mendoza was trying to pivot on the front foot, okay? Again, because Keith Thurman is going to be moving around with his hands down, circling, he's not going to be having his hands up all the time. He's going to be very, very, very vulnerable to this type of attack from, from Tim Zhu, as Tim Zhu is going to be able to ex attack him with that jab, that fake jab that doesn't matter get Keith Thurman to react while he's pivoting on the front foot or while he's circling and maybe walk him into a hard shot. And uh, I think that while Tim Zhu's, you know, most likely if he's going to hurt Tim uh, Keith Thurman, it's going to hurt him with that shot. I do think that the left hook is going to be the one like this is going to be the one that allows him to get in the most amount of positions uh, to land that right hand. It's going to allow him to control the most amount of space. And we're going to talk about that a little bit later. <clears throat> Again, leaping hook, it's going to be very, very, very important for him and very, very valuable um, for him to be able to score with that punch um, and not fall behind against Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman can be pretty tricky with his footwork. Now, that's all especially important because Tim Zhu's not really a body puncher. You know, all the stuff that we see going on here with uh, Tim Zhu, not a lot of body punches, a lot of head punches. Oh my goodness. And then a body punch right away, right there. But he does throw a couple of left hooks to the body, but Keith Thurman has mostly been uh, hurt to the body. He has pretty good head movement, stepping jab. Again, very, very easy to react or to, to fight off of what Tim Zhu's doing. Now, look at how he's kind of following him around, right? He's following him around. And now, Tim Zhu's offense, right? What was it? Oh, he threw a stepping jab here. Again, he doesn't really pendulum step. So when he gets the ring all cut off, he has to wait and still sneak up and, and like kind of walk on the guy's line. And the guy faints him and moves off the line or interacts with the stepping jab by getting under it and then breaks his rhythm and stops him from following up. Now he follows him around and look at him. Boom, 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 right? Tim Zhu not really countering, not really this, not really that. But Tim Zhu's offense, very easy to disrupt. Right? Very easy to get him to just follow you around. Um, and uh, again, he doesn't really pendulum step. So he can't really, he doesn't cover distance very quickly. So he's plodding. So it's kind of, I don't want to say easy, but Keith Thurman likes to fight like this too. Or he'll drag you around and then just explode. And as we can see, Tim Zhu not handling that especially well here. Even though those are not all the most cleanest punches, um, that idea is very, very, very important. Here's pendulum step here, no punching, getting controlled, pushed off of his line, trying to come forward, jab, okay, but not really pendulum stepping, not really able to really chase him down. Now, this part's really important because, again, I do think that Mendoza here has a better active guard than Keith Thurman on average and is more difficult to hit. Um... I don't think Keith Thurman's going to stay there as long. But Tim Zhu, not super dynamic with his offense, not getting a lot done, not getting a lot of probes done, not penduluming onto him, right? Like Canelo would jump onto your line and throw a big right hand. Now, Tim doesn't need to sacrifice his position like Canelo does. He's not at a, such a huge disadvantage, right? Now, again, getting to the front foot here, right? And again, that's going to be a very common timing, pinning him to the back foot, one, Pendulum stepping forward. Again, that was still a stepping jab. Stepping jab here. And he has him in the corner, right? In a position, right? Where's all the offense from Tim Zhu? What's he getting done here, right? Stepping jab. Is he Has he landed anything? Now, and then his opponent escapes out of the ring, 
right, or out of that corner. And I, if you pay attention to those sequences, right, again, Tim Zhu doesn't really cut the ring off super well. He'll kind of walk and follow you around. He's not using very aggressive pendulum steps. Um, and again, we're going to see some clips, some really good ones of uh, Keith Thurman doing some. But one thing I want to point out, this is a clip here of, of Tim Zhu catching Brian Mendoza with a uppercut here. I think that this may be one of the other more important punches uh, in the fight because Keith Thurman throws a lot of big overhands and he'll, he moves his head and he'll get his head to this position. Um, and if we see th when we watch his offense, it's going to be very, very important as well. But um, uh, this is going to be one of those moves that may be able to prevent Keith Thurman from just unloading all kinds of crazy punches at him. Now, we're going to take a look at Tim Zhu's defense, okay, and get a feel for it. And we're going to take a look at Keith Thurman's offense. So number one, jab, 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 pushes Tim Zhu off the line, pendulum step, moving away not really defending his line, leaving left hook around the guard. Look at Tim Zhu's guard, right? Look at how both of his hands are in front of his face. The left hook comes around the guard, okay? Leaping hook, landing solid for Brian Mendoza. No return fire. Jab to the body, pushing him off the line. Look at that guard from Tim Zhu in that last clip. Look at how exposed he was to the left hook. Again, getting into this position. Look at how the left hook could have come around the guard from Tim Zhu. Again, just shelling up, putting his hands up, but not guarding the side of either of his head, right? Again, all this stuff is very, very, very important because Keith Thurman loves to throw big rounded punches. Now, gets on the line, pendulum step after the jab, and we can see how exposed Tim Zhu is right there to the left hook around the guard, the left hook through the middle, okay, as he put his head down. All this stuff, very, very, very important. Again, just running off the line, not really looking to interact with his opponent. Stepping jab here, right hand over the top. Okay. Now again, uh, Tim Zhu, a lot of stepping jabs. He doesn't put a lot of pressure on the line, and it's very easy to push him off the line. How does he regain space once you faint him and probe him just a little bit, and he gives up the entire ring to you? Well, he immediately stepping jabs. Now, this clip is very unique because right after he lands this shot, Tim Zhu blasts back with the shot. It gets blocked and then he tries to counter, right? But Tim Zhu doesn't counter a lot. However, he is much more likely to counter when he gets hit solid. When he gets hit clean, he will react and fight back and come back with a good shot. It's very interesting. It's very unique um, because it most of the time he'll just chill and he, he won't interact. And that's the interesting part is it kind of forces him to. And it's more interesting because he'll do it in the same sequence he gets hit back in. Not, he won't even just wait for the next sequence. Now, gets on the line with the one, with the two, right? Tim Zhu's guard. Is this good defense? Do we ever want to be in this position? No, 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 no. He's also vulnerable to a three up the middle. Again, without countering the two, when he gets into this position, um, without coming back with that uppercut we were talking about, it's going to allow Keith Thurman to get into this position and follow up with more punches. And that's one thing that Keith Thurman loves to do. Now, again, getting on the line, getting on the line. And again, let's take a look at Tim Zhu's guard from this position after the right hand gets here. He's completely exposed to the left hook. And again, T Keith Thurman is very, very, very explosive. Okay, and I think that uh, as we take a look at his offense, there's going to be a high chance that he's going to be very exposed to things like the left hook. And now a left hook around the guard catches him here. Again, where are all the counters from Tim Zhu? Tim Zhu's kind of walking forward, kind of like a zombie. Boom, big overhand right lands. Um, not the greatest technique from Mendoza, but he's just landing this punch just around the guard because, again, Tim Zhu doesn't really know how to block punches. Uh, someone made the comment, um, since when is blocking punches the best this, this, and that? It's not. But when you fight a guy as fast and explosive as Brian Mendoza, they're going to catch you off guard. And it's, as a last resort, we have to be able to interact with it. And because Brian Mendoza is fast and strong, be, because Keith Thurman is fast and strong, we're already at our last resort. It's the only way to interact with someone that fast. right? And at the highest level of boxing, you're just going to have to be able to do that. Okay, now... One, two. Now again, pop right up the middle, right through the guard. Again, 
Um, and again, this is one of Keith Thurman's favorite moves. We're going to get to take a look at that. And I think that Tim Zhu is going to be open to it all night. Now, I think this is Tim Zhu's best defense. It's the left hook. Um, if he can catch Keith Thurman moving into position with his right hand off of his pendulum step, because he has a very obvious timing, um, and he can isolate Keith Thurman from throwing that right hand with this left hook, he can open up enough space to maybe score and hurt Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman's very vulnerable to the one-two. But if he's not able to isolate him with this left hook, and we're going to see more examples, again, gets to this position, not very good defense for a two or a three right there. Not trying to block, not trying to catch, and again, all really bad stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Excellent left hook right there. Again, very dangerous. All those guards right there, he was very vulnerable to all those punches from Mendoza. Um, but this is the punch, I think, that is going to give him the most amount of space, the most amount of opportunity to compete with Keith Thurman um, because Keith Thurman can dance. Keith Thurman can move. Keith Thurman can do a little bit of that um, Roy Jones stuff where he can move off the line, get out of the way, circle, throw big looping punches and stuff. Now, again, Tim Zhu, his, his uh, offense, he doesn't really move his head a lot. Right, coming forward, not really countering, no head movement. This angle is just perfect to see how kind of limited Tim Zhu winds up making himself. Right, again, not very good positions for blocking left hooks either on the back foot, and the left hook may be devastating if he eats it in that position. Right, penduluming forward, walks into a right hand, no counters, no nothing, moving off the line, and again, it's not that difficult to disrupt Tim Zhu. It's not that difficult to create space to feint and control him, right? And he just, on average, doesn't score very often. And I think that Keith Thurman, again, when we take a look at his offense and what he likes to achieve, um, it kind of lines up pretty well. Again, left hook, right? Didn't wind up working very well for him there. Um, but when we take a look, I think the offense really lines up really well for Keith Thurman. Now... Stepping jab. Keith Thurman has a little bit of a stepping jab, right? But it's a very educated, explosive jab as well. And he doesn't always throw it the exact same way. Keith Thurman is very strong, very athletic, and very explosive and very able to kind of sit still, relax, chill, and kind of explode into this jab. But without very, very much telegraphing, he can do it from having his foot planted, not planted, he can step with it. He's kind of very versatile here. He gets his foot down, right? And then he probes the line here. But it's not really a stepping jab. These moves were not combined. He's probing at him, gets him to attack at him, right? Jumps off the line, ready for those feints, ready for those things, and able to control and probe the line with that lead hand there. Not forced to commit a lot like Tim Zhu was, right? Coming forward with a little stepping jab there if he wants to be a little bit faster. <clears throat> Now, coming forward, stepping jab, interacting with his opponent's jab by slipping his head off the line, right? Another pretty unique skill, not very popular today, right? I do want to point out, if the two came in this sequence, very, very good shot against Keith Thurman there. Now, jab, penduluming forward, and when he lands to the ground, throwing this right hand as his opponent is circling away. Now, Check out the guard, right? Not only does this kind of get around the guard, a very similar Tim Zhu guard, but Keith Thurman uniquely, similar to Shakur Stevenson, who has a very good 2-3, loves to connect the line with the 2 hard, boom, and then blast into his own 3, right? Whether it be a 1, right? Whether it's a straight punch, or it's more of an uppercut to the head, um, or even a leaping hook. But he loves to go 2-3 and explode from that position. And he's very, very good at getting there. Now, coming down, leaping into the hook again, Tim Zhu keeps his hands forward, very, very close to the line. And because of the fact that Tim uh, Keith Thurman has a pretty good jab, right, a pretty educated jab, he can probe, he can get close to the line and attack, I think that he's going to have a decent amount of time landing that leaping hook around the guard against uh, Tim Zhu as well. Now, chasing this guy down, pendulum jumping, throwing a leaping shot into a leaping shot into that right hand to the body. Keith Thurman is very dangerous if you can't break his momentum, if you don't counter him, if you don't control him when he starts getting going, 
right? In that, in that idea where he's very Roy Jones-like, uh, what I like to teach my, my fighters is getting into pendulum, a rhythm where you're, you're constantly in motion, exploding, jumping into a really quick one-two, and again, around the guard here, not straight through, but around the guard, Tim Zhu, not very good at blocking rounded punches. His guard, not very good. Boom. Now, defense with a hook here. This should have been in the defense part. But uh, Tim Zhu throws a 1-2. Maybe Keith Thurman can counter with a left hook. Maybe not. Tim Zhu doesn't really throw a lot of body shots again. Um, but just a little, a little note there. Getting his head off the line of the jab there. Jab. And now... Checking pendulum here, he gets down, controls, double jab like, boom, again, gets to this position with the two. Okay, and again, he's very, very good at moving into that position and throwing a lot of weight. Tim Zhu is going to need to be able to throw that left hook and isolate him from that move because Keith Thurman makes it so obvious when he's penduluming. Very similar in that regard to um, Errol Spence, where he would just throw one jab pendulum and throw the shot when he landed. Keith Thurman did have an extra control on the way down with the jab, very similar to Usyk, like the double jab, which, again, is not an excuse, right? It doesn't make it any better. It's still a very dangerous move. But I think Tim Zhu may be able to be fast enough early in the fight um, to, to compete with Keith Thurman and isolate him a little bit from that move. Um, but it is one of Keith Thurman's most common moves, again, even doing it here and leaping into that shot there. Now, again, once Keith Thurman gets going, very, very dangerous, very explosive, likes to throw a lot of shots. And again, Tim Zhu's guard, he, he likes to sit back in that like fake Philly shell thing. We all saw how effective it was for Ryan Garcia, right? It looked bad. He would get hit. Um, and Tim Zhu has his own version. Now, again, leaping shot, right? Coming into the line. Again, I think it'll be very effective. Jab, get pendulum. Makes it to the ground, throws the big two, and now following up with the three. Again, I think this third punch here is going to be very, very dangerous for Tim Zhu because if Tim Zhu doesn't control space with that left hook and doesn't keep him off the line, this left hook from Keith Thurman will be coming all night. And he's going to be doing a lot more jab, pendulum, again, boom, boom, exploding into the shot. Again, if Keith Thurman is hitting you super hard with a big leaping shot, look at his structure. It doesn't matter if it's bad or not. Because he's going to be hitting you hard. Okay, and I think that because Tim Zhu's guard on average is not that good, uppercut. Now, again, this move I think is going to be very, very, very important for Tim Zhu, right? The uppercut to isolate Keith Thurman from this position. But Keith Thurman, very good at countering it with his left hook as well. So there's going to be a fight for this position where Keith Thurman is going to be trying to get to the front foot so he can throw those right hands and those leaping left hooks. Um, and I think that I think that if Tim Zhu is not very successful with either of these punches, uh, he's definitely going to lose the fight. Um, but even if he's not successful, he needs to throw them and threaten Keith Thurman on the front foot, threaten Keith Thurman when Keith Thurman pendulum steps, right when um, when he gets to the front foot. Now, positions like that, very weak to an uppercut for Keith Thurman, very weak to an uppercut here again. Excellent counter. Right. Again, Keith Thurman, even though he falls off balance a little bit after throwing these shots or finds himself in a poor position, not able to exit the line after expending him, his attacks, um, defending the position kind of well after getting attacked. Now, leaping again, moving very quickly from position to position, exploding into that leaping hook that he can do while he's moving and circling and then following it up with other punches again. Because Tim Zhu doesn't really get into good structures to counter all the time, it may expose a lot of his line to point scoring from Keith Thurman. And Keith Thurman may be able to circle and move and duck and dodge and dive and um, and then throw big leaping hooks and catch Tim Zhu, right? Not even necessarily knock him out, but just score decent enough punches that we're like, okay, that was a good shot, and then boom, follow up with a three, right? Two threes. And then more into leaping shots. But but Tim Zhu, because of the fact that Tim Zhu, and as we talk about this, right, here's the leaping shot from Keith Thurman, boom, right around the guard, landing a good shot. If Tim Zhu's not throwing very much, if if he's not landing a lot of twos, if he's not countering, because he's, he's only going to get to go first with the one and a one-two, right? 
Well, he has the leaping hook as well. Um, uh, but he'll fall behind if he's not able to keep up, uh, obviously. But but Keith Thurman has a leaping shot, right? He has big pendulums where he can close a lot of distance. Two, gets on the line. Three, pendulum, chasing, right? And he can chase and he can pendulum step. Tim Zhu doesn't really pendulum step. So as he gets chased off the line, there's so much space. It takes him such a long time to come back with good counters or cover good ground um, that Keith Thurman may be able to kind of style on him with big flurries. And we all know Keith Thurman can bang, for real bang, not Shakur Stevenson bang, right? Like he can throw five hard punches in a row and knock you out and in a random time. Again, if you follow him around, and you're trying to catch jabs or you have a bad guard, leaping shot, peels off the line. Moving back into another shot, two, three, pendulum. Coming back onto the line, one, one, two, three. Again, Keith Thurman, very explosive, chains his punches very well together. Um, and Tim Zhu, very poor defense. Okay, And all these things kind of come together to kind of make it look like Keith Thurman is going to have a uh, a pretty decent time fighting Tim Zhu to me. Okay. It makes it look like it's going to be a, a pretty good, a pretty, I don't want to say easy, you know, but if anybody was going to have a virtuoso performance in this fight, I would feel like Keith Thurman has a better chance at, at making a 10 out of 10 performance. Um, I think if Tim Zhu wins, it's going to be a tough fight unless he just catches him cold and knocks him out with the right hand, which could happen. But who is Tim Zhu doing that to? You know, Tim Zhu's not aggressive enough. He doesn't put on enough pressure. It's tough to pin Keith Thurman down. And if you're hoping that he's going to run out of energy, is Tim Zhu the guy that's making people run out of energy when all you have to do is faint or push him off the line? Anyway, I think this is a case where Keith Thurman is pretty athletic. He's like a C++ fighter. Uh, he's fast and he's powerful. He hits hard. He moves good. All that great stuff. And Keith Thur and uh, Tim Zhu, who's, you know, maybe a C. He's a C fighter. Maybe he's a B. Uh, sometimes he has good setup. Sometimes he has. Sometimes. Not on average lately. He's been mostly about athleticism. I don't think his athleticism stacks up with... Keith Thurman's. So I think Keith Thurman has a, sh a shot to shut Tim Zhu out, but Tim Zhu also has a shot to to really put a hurt on Keith Thurman. You know, um, Keith Thurman doesn't like body shots. Tim Zhu doesn't throw a lot of body shots, so there'll have to be some adjustments made. And I think I think at this point right now, the most amount of adjustments that need to be made need to be made on Tim Zhu's side, which puts him at disadvantage. Because whatever he does, it's already out of his comfort zone. He's already behind Keith Thurman in that regard. So unless he winds up just being bigger and able to knock him out, I think that uh, I'm advantage to Keith Thurman. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys are looking to learn boxing and you don't have a coach, you want to learn a system all by yourself, uh, well, coaching from me, the Fouts Boxing Combat System, check out the link in the description. It'll teach you how to shadow box. It'll teach you how to hit the heavy bag. It'll teach you how to, most importantly, get a great workout while you do all this stuff while you build insane power and insane speed. Uh, like the great fighters. Again, I'm the first coach in history to be able to teach punching power to any person on the planet, no matter what, male or female, um, at a 100% success rate. So check it out. Thanks, guys.